A brand new patch and a new update for 2K22 today has dropped the 1.09 and it has come with some very much some welcome changes, including, of course, the ones to my GM mode that everybody has been sought after. So if we take a look as you start a brand new my GM mode here, you get the difficulty setting on the right hand side. You can see the text which now says normal slash hard difficulty will require more matches booked each week and tag team championships to manage. So what I'm guessing from this is if you're on easy mode, it will just be the usual three matches that you can book uh, for a normal show, five obviously for a WrestleMania, four for a normal pay-per-view. But if you go up to normal and hard, you'll get added onto that, possibly on hard. That's where you'll get just the tag team championships, which by the looks of things is from where I've checked out. That's where you can get the tag team titles. Now, with this update, you cannot pick your champion at the beginning where it says choose your champion. For instance, if we went Brock Lesnar for the men's and Asuka for the women's, it doesn't give you an option to go down further or anything for the tag team titles. You have to actually book a match with the tag team titles on the line. For instance, now when you have a tag team match booked on your show, and you can see here we've now got four matches because on hard mode you now have four matches per normal week, like on SmackDown, Raw, NXT or NXT UK, you can then select on the tag team and as long as there is no tag team champions that aren't in the match or of course there's just vacant right now, you can go down and there is a title match option to select this match to be a title match and there is the tag team titles behind to signify that this is a title match. Now when you have tag team champions, they will not show up here on your page where usually obviously you can see the other champions are here, but there is a way that you can find out who your champions are. Simply by going to your roster, it will tell you who the tag team champions are. As you can see, Walter and Fabian Eichner are my champions here, just like the women's champion and the men's champion signifies having the title belt next to them. So it just adds that extra touch of class that we've all been asking for, for those tag team title belts. No mid card belts just yet, but it does show with this update that as a community, they are listening to us and they are listening to our requests. And how fast was that done, by the way? The game has only been out for just over a month and they've already made some changes to my GM mode, which is obviously one of the most played modes that they've probably uh, found out through releasing this game. Everybody wanted a my GM mode. Everybody's been playing it, but everybody's been saying the same thing. It's great mode but it's very restricted on what you can and cannot do. And this is a great huge step uh, in just a patch alone that allows us to add some extra stuff to it. So think of the things that they could add in future with future DLCs, etc. I know they've only added a certain amount of DLCs right now uh, to be released all the way up until July, but with the season pass, who knows what's gonna come out up until the new game comes out whenever that may be. Of course, NXT 2.0 is another thing that was updated in today's patch. We'll have a look at the patch notes in a sec. Whether we can eventually see some of the wrestlers on there like Braun Breaker, they haven't been announced yet. That's all stuff that we would love to see, of course, and we can use him in a future MyGM mode. But as a content creator's point of view, this is fantastic because I have been thinking in my head, like I'm running out of ideas to make this mode a little bit more entertaining than what it usually is. This definitely helps. We'll have a look at the patch notes because there is other stuff in my GM mode that have been updated. Yes, here is the official patch notes from 2K on patch update 1.09 released on the 19th of April. Now we can see there is a general thing for that NXT 2.0 arena. So that's fantastic. That's been added in. It looks great. Some obviously creative wrestlers or creative people in the uh, community tabs have been doing some unbelievable stuff, but it's nice to have some official ones in there. Added game-wide options for graphic settings on PC, extras slash graphic options. I'm going to be diving into that because let me tell you, although obviously there's been a lot of updates uh, uh, with this patch, I'm still noticing it's very, very slow on PC. But there's a lot of in the gameplay that's been polished off that you might want to have a look at through. But the most important one for me at the minute is my GM mode. Tag team titles are now uh, supported for normal and hard difficulty. So for easy difficulty, it will be the standard game mode that we've been playing previously. Without the tag team titles on normal or hard difficulty, those will be added. The match card size for normal and hard difficulty has been expanded again. So those two game modes will add that that fourth match 
for every single show. It will make it a lot more harder, which will be a lot more entertaining for sure going forward. But this one I am most intrigued with, and it's the improved AI, because we have highlighted time and time again how many stupid decisions I would say that uh, the AI make during the My GM mode uh, series that we've been doing recently. And yeah, I'm curious to see whether they still make those stupid decisions, whether Akira Tozawa is still champion, whether Mace is the most popular superstar, or whether they focus on the highest popular superstars to begin with. I know it's great building popularity of like a jobber or a lower end popularity superstar on My GM mode, but when you got the AI who has like Brock Lesnar just in a tag match and Akira Tozawa is the champion sometimes it just doesn't make sense and they do make some very silly decisions so I'm intrigued by the improved AI and what decisions that makes especially whether they have tag team titles and whether they use them very wisely and the general performance improvements I'd like a little bit more in depth from that but I am excited to find out everything and try this game mode out which leads me to my next point that the WCW rebuild we're going to put on hold for now because what I might do instead is do that next week or the week after um, with the new game mode. And we have some tag teams instead. As much as I love that series already and it's already been two episodes, like everybody wants to see the updates now. So tomorrow we're going to have a brand new series starting on my GMO. We're just going to do 15 weeks, but we're going to do it across the course of the next three days. So we have one pay-per-view per day and see how that plays out using the new updated my GM mode. Uh, there, of course, like I mentioned, there are some added extras. The creative mode improved performance and stability with all, within all create modes. I'd like to see it because I haven't quite seen it yet. It still seems really slow, whether it's just the bugs and everything that people have been mentioning so far. Uh, but there we go. There's obviously a lot of improvements which people who create a lot of wrestlers will be happy to see from this. Uh, and the universe mode is something that I'm quite intrigued with as well. There's a lot of changes, stability uh, changes and stuff like that that will help people who use universe mode and it's definitely something that I want to dive myself into uh, within the next couple of weeks so yeah I mean we've asked for it they've come back they've listened to the community straight away and they've provided us with a huge update just after a month after the game's released and I think you can only commend 2K for doing so. It's definitely a positive step. It's a step in the right direction. Yes, there are still other things that we want to see in this game mode to keep well, keep us coming back, to keep us playing my GM mode, for instance, to keep us playing all these other game modes in 2K22. Uh, but for now, I think we've just got to be happy. We've definitely got to be happy. And I cannot wait to get myself into my GM mode now and play with some tag team titles and see how that plays out with the new AI and, and how that does. So if you want to see that, make sure you're subscribed. That'll be coming out tomorrow. Uh, and of course, if you can, smash a like on this video. And yeah, thank you very much, 2K. If there's anything that you want to see in the next future patch updates, let us know down in the comment section. But for now, I'll see you tomorrow with that new My GM series. Bye-bye.